seven hours a day. That is how long many of us spend time staring at digital devices such as our cell phones and computer screens. And while we are on the fast track along the information superhighway, you might want to slow down. There is a painful toll ahead to pay. It is called computer vision syndrome. Two cappuccini and one espresso. Back in the day when people actually talked to each other at coffee shops, patrons were hooked on Java and nicotine. Today at Cafe Stella in downtown Norfolk, it's Java and the computer screen. 26-year-old medical school student J.C. Wang spends at least eight hours a day on the computer. She's already paying the price. My vision acuity has already started kind of rapidly getting worse since my LASIK procedure, just because I'm on the computer so much. Katie Rogan, only 23 years old, also suffers from eye strain. Probably at work about eight hours and then at home, I guess by myself, at least two or two more in the morning. Ten time. hours a day yeah. staring at a digital device? Definitely. And owner Stella Pomianic spends hours on her laptop managing the family business. Lately I've been noticing I've been getting um, kind of more strain or headaches. If you'll come forward for me, chin on the chin rest. Doctors are seeing case after case of computer vision syndrome. Eye strain, fatigue, some people will get headaches, um, tearing, irritation in the eyes, burning, dryness symptoms are all associated with computer fatigue. The American Optometric Association says if you're tethered to digital devices, follow the 202020 rule. Take a 20 second break to view something 20 feet away every 20 minutes. The 202020 rule could be even more critical for children and anyone with vision problems. People with uncorrected refractive air, if you have some amount of uh, prescription or astigmatism associated uh, inside of your eyes, having correction for that can actually decrease glare and uh, light sensitivity symptoms in front of a monitor. Long before the smartphone, this is how we communicated. Jeanette Zello, a former CNP telephone operator, had cataracts removed a few years ago, and she sparingly uses the computer. This 88-year-old can read the New York Times without glasses. How profiteers coax women into surgery, and I cannot read any of the copy. No, you can't. I can't read any of this. Those can little things. Any of that? If Mrs. Plummer didn't act quickly, okay. the caller urged she might die. Okay, Ms. Plummer, is that, what does that say, 40 or 40? She's 49. So to avoid CVS, screens should be 4 to 5 inches below eye level and 20 to 28 inches from the eyes. Consider tinted lenses that block blue light from computer screens. Use computer space work lenses or computer progressive lenses. Much like smoking, this future physician says the federal government may have to take the lead in focusing on the effects of computer vision syndrome. It's actually going to be sort of a public health issue since it's very prevalent and it's more of a people need to adjust their behavior. Posture is also important with any device, especially the cell phone. Don't lean or hunch forward. Keep your shoulders back with your head level with the screen. We have more information, of course, on the internet, 13newsnow.com.